The Death Penalty by Julia Patridge and Emily Calhoun. The History of the Death Penalty. Executions in the U.S. were most prominent between 1900 and 1972, nearly 8,000. Lately, the rate has dropped to about 1,000. Michigan was the first state to abolish the death penalty in 1846. More about the pros and cons of the death penalty. So, executioner, how do you justify the death of people due to their criminal actions? First things first, it's cheaper to put people on death row than to keep them in jail the rest of their lives. And that comes out of taxpayers' money. The facts. It costs $129.44 per day to jail a prisoner. An average life in jail sentence would cost about $2,598,508. The cost of putting a prisoner on death row is $90,000. How would you respond to somebody telling you that some of the drugs used cannot work immediately, causing the person excessive pain? Is this cruel and unusual punishment? Does this violate the Eighth Amendment? But not all executions use new drugs. Most people don't experience pain. Current event, the death penalty gone wrong. Executionees typically die in 10 minutes, but in one case, Joseph Wood had a different experience. At six minutes, he began gasping. One woman took count and counted that he gasped 640 times. Afterwards, the executioner tried to cover it up. The execution lasted from 1.52 to 3.49, almost two hours. Wood died after the 15th dose of Arizona's new drug formula. This is cruel and unusual punishment. It didn't what do you believe is the most prominent con of the death penalty? For one, jail time allows prisoners with a chance to learn from their mistakes. The death penalty prevents this. Many cases have occurred where unknown drugs incurred cruel and unusual punishment, violating the Eighth Amendment. There is also a chance that an innocent person can be killed as a result of the death penalty. About the cons! More than 4% of inmates sentenced to death in the U.S. are probably innocent. Death Penalty Information Center reported nearly 50 botched executions. The death penalty doesn't allow for rehabilitation. One cannot learn from their mistakes unless they are alive. Isn't the death penalty just another form of revenge? In the words of Gandhi, an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. It's more of a way of punishment. People need to know that their actions have reactions, and you can't forget that. In the Bible verse, Revelation 13.10, it says that he that killeth with a sword must be killed by a sword. It deters would-be criminals from committing crimes. The absence of the death penalty in, is synonymous with crime increase. It cost. It is cost-effective. Since 2013, there have been seven reported escaped inmates. The death penalty prevents escape.
Court Case Watton, Kennedy v. Louisiana, 2008. Patrick Kennedy was convicted of raping his eight-year-old stepdaughter and was sentenced to death in Louisiana. <laughs> the Supreme Court concluded that the Eighth Amendment bans Louisiana from imposing the death penalty for the rape of a child where the crime did not result or intend to result in the victim's death. Court Case 2, Bayes v. Reese, 2008. Two petitioners, Bayes and Bowling, were put on death row in Kentucky State Court. They argued that lethal injection violates the Eighth Amendment, and it was upheld as constitutional by both the state and the Supreme Court. Questions True or false, executions in the U.S. are at an all-time high. True or false, it costs over a hundred dollars to jail a prisoner for one day. True or false, a death row prisoner usually dies after 10 minutes.